There's so many Instagram trends out there, but this one... Whew. In today's video, we're gonna talk about an Instagram trend, how to really make it your own, what's the best pose for this specific trend, so you can get the perfect photo. Hello Shutterbox, I'm Bonnie RCM, I'm a fashion photographer and I share tips and tricks on how to look amazing in all your photos. If you enjoy photography, I will suggest to subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every week. Now that I see myself in camera, I feel like this outfit is like Desperate Housewife or something like that. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. So yes, we have seen this trend where the girls and they're celebrating something and I feel like it looks so glam, so beautiful. But I feel like there are different ways to do this photo and different ways that can hopefully represent you so you can replicate this idea because I feel it's perfect for this season. I'm very excited because today's video is sponsored by Rose Forever. It's a company based in New York and they specialize in handcraft eternity roses arrangements made of 100% real roses. The crazy thing is that it could last at least a year. These roses are amazing for anniversaries, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Mom's Day, so you know, you know, you know, but also for Instagram photos. And this is specifically why I partner with this company because this trend was like perfect with their product. And as soon as I got the product, I was like, oh, this looks so fresh and so beautiful. They have it in different palettes, almost every color. So you really decide. I went for a red one, which is pretty classic. And since I partnered with them to make this video, they're giving you $15 off first order with the special code Bonnie 15. Check the description box, I'm gonna leave you the code there and also the direct link so you can take advantage of this. Thanks so much Rose Forever for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for supporting my YouTube channel because none of this would be possible without you. So now let's start. Flowers is one of the things that I normally use with my clients and I use them because first it gives them something to do. Also, it can pop or make something of the photo a little bit more special. Maybe it looks kind of boring and you're gonna see this during this video because I'm gonna be pinpointing you these little details. But you can use them to really set your whole photo together. They also have texture that makes it really powerful in camera. So definitely roses, it's something that you wanna play with. So I need to start from the beginning. And the beginning is selfies. So in this specific case, I'm using the mirror as a reflection and you can definitely uh, put your phone in a way that you can see yourself and the mirror and take the photo. Usually when we use mirrors, they frame us and that's very attractive in photos. And as you can see in this photo, the flowers kind of give it that pop. I also did it intentionally and as you see, everything seems to be very brown and then the roses become kind of like this romantic touch to the photo. Also, the mood of this photo, it's kind of a staying home, being very relaxed, no shoes, thank you, I want to feel comfortable, but also very sweet. So it's given an element of something different to your regular selfie. In the next case, it's gonna be the nostalgic portrait. And in this case, I'm gonna use lighting to be my best friend, to give the message. Remember that, yeah, looking great in photos has a lot to do with the way we pose and the little items that we use in our photos, but it has to do a ton, mainly, with lighting. So in this case, I'm gonna be half dark and the other half is gonna have some light in, which is gonna make the mood very romantic. And in this particular case, I'm going for the romance that we had a fight, he sent me a rose, or I don't need anyone, I get my own roses. Uh, or whatever vibe you like. But the good thing about this photo is like I feel it really can have many stories. It does look romantic. You can either show the flowers or hide it a little bit, but I do think that it changes a very regular, a simple portrait, a more intricate story. 
Since we cover our bases, now we're gonna step it up a notch and that's gonna be with the glam vibe. And the glam vibe, I'm really gonna show it with a lot of things going on, but not really. Lately. You're gonna see what I'm talking about right now. So in my house, I do have this wallpaper. Really, it was a look. But I do have a dress that has similar tones, which I thought it was perfect with the red flowers. A good trick that you can use, and especially in fashion, it's the wheel with colors. I'm planning for fall to make a full-on video on what to wear in photos for fall and how to mix colors. Let me know if you want that in the comments. But in this particular case, it matched almost perfectly. And because I really wanted to give it like a royal touch, red lipstick, which matched specifically with the red flowers. But hold on. To, for this photo, you don't need the exact same wallpaper and you don't need like the exact same thing. I wanted to show you how different things can look depending on your style, kind of giving your own vibe. So maybe you're more in like the earthy, relax, and then you go for this, or maybe you're more in like in the glam, but dependence of what you have available. Also, this can look great with a completely plain wall, dressed with flowers, and then you have your flowers, and you can you can do the matchy matchy with the dress and the flowers. So, okay, going back to to the whole production. So I also wanted to give an action and this action was to like doing my makeup or like kind of like touching my makeup up or something like that. So I selected this little item. It's a Laura Mercier kind of powder. I do love Laura Mercier products, I have to say. I use them all the time. But besides that, it's also because the packaging is very neutral, which doesn't really disturb. I wanted the one to be the star, the red lipstick. So you really match it with the rose and the dress and the wallpaper and tin 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 tin. I do feel that the royalty thing kind of crown goes with the hair detail, which does make a big difference, I feel, after the photo. Let me know which vibe you like, which one you like better, like the elegant or like the chill one. Going back to chill. So in this case, this is actually a great idea for people that want to showcase their products if you have a store online or something like that. Or maybe you like to talk about makeup and then you like to show some products specifically. Since flowers can really be a great prop to be able to have handy, you can mix it with other stuff. So here I did a very, 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 very simple layout. Uh, you, as you see, I'm mixing textures of the white pattern. I'm also mixing the texture on my floor. And finally, I'm using the flowers. With this simple startup setup, you can start adding stuff halfway. This is like a great empty space that you can use to add other stuff. I'm gonna add a book just for the sake of it. But these flat lates are very popular, especially for stores. And also, if you like to showcase in a very glamorous way your day-to-day -day life. I'm going with the same kind of concept. I'm gonna do a layout that includes myself. As you see, little details in layouts are very important. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that it doesn't matter if you cut some of the stuff inside the layout because that might help. A second thing is that it's kind of important that everything has a place, kind of like their own space in a way, so things don't look as clutter. So in this case, I put the flowers to kind of like showcase that I'm reading and it's kind of like a chill, regular day. And I, want, I wanted to show you as well that these photos sometimes are a lot about details. This, we started the photo with nothing on my hair. Then I put, I put a hairband and it, I, I was like, uh, I think like the photo is not quite there. And then we took like a little ribbon thing and it changed the photo completely and I believe so. And you can let me know in the comments what do you think. And a lot of these uh, layout photos is a lot about testing and seeing. You can have a first color palette that you will like in this case was really in earthy tones like really brownish and red. But just giving like little tweaks do make a difference. I 
And this was obviously not planned, but my cat came in and he started smelling the roses, which is super cute. And I definitely think that that was amazing to get like that final cute photo. Another tip with this, it's to keep it simple. It can start getting more complicated and you can mix round shapes with square shapes and so on and so on. But it's better if you keep it simple just at the beginning and then you start building up on these layouts as soon as your eye gets a little bit more trained on the way. The fireplace. I moved to Chicago like a couple of weeks ago and it's my new city. If anyone is from Chicago, please let me know in the comments. I've been living in Miami for a couple of years and I used to live in New York. I did have a fireplace, but now that I'm in Chicago, I have a fireplace, which is pretty, pretty cool and exotic for me. It might not be exotic for many of you because you have lived with fireplace all your life, but in my case before, I never really had the need for one. And I've always saw these beautiful photos and I'm like, and now I can make the photo finally. So if you have a fireplace because you might live in a city that you need a fireplace to get things warm, uh, this idea, I feel like it's very like beauty and the beast kind of deal and it's very, very, very trendy. The fireplace becomes kind of the star of the season. So you're definitely going to see these type of photos probably the rest of the year because this is great for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. It's like a great little touch for your photos. So in this specific case, uh, you can take these photos without showing your face and I would really suggest to add the little details so things can start having some sort of shape in your photo. Elongate. If you elongate your body, it's gonna make a big, big difference. I'm editing this photo with one of my filters, so it re this filter in particular really pops red, that everything kind of really goes together. The flowers, which is like the very romantic kind of idea in the photo, but also the cozy fireplace, etc, etc. One thing that I want you to have in mind, and this is really important, especially when you're taking photos in a living room, is to be very aware where your lighting is coming from. And also to be able to showcase details on your flowers and to showcase details on yourself. If you're turning around, you're gonna get something like this, where you're not gonna have a lot of information on your face, but if you just turn around, you're gonna have a ton of information and have definitely a better photo. With this particular photo, I wanted to show you a trick that is like super VIP and you can't tell anyone. I mean, you can totally tell your friends. You need to share this video then with them. And is that you can go to Pixar, you can select your photo, and then when you have your photo, you can add another photo. And then you can put a completely different background. I'm in Chicago and this window specifically, in this photo, you can only see the sky but I wanted it to feel like it was full. You can just click erase and you can erase a lot of detail and patience where you want the image and where you don't want it. Then you pretty much click okay. This might take, I mean, the longer that you take there, the more real it's gonna look. Then it's gonna look kind of funky at the beginning, but then you export your photo and they go to Lightroom and I apply my own presets. They're available in the description box and below this video. And then when you apply the preset at the end, it gives the same color to the whole photo and that makes it look more real. You definitely don't need to try it all, but I wanted to share this little secret with you because why not? Last week we did a special ad about selfies and I don't want you to miss all that juicy information. It was mirror selfies. And I'll leave you the link either in the description or somewhere here in the video. I really hope that these ideas take your photos to the next level. Please tag me if you try any of them on Instagram at BonnieRCM. I love to share your results with this beautiful community. Thanks Rose Forever for sponsoring this video so I was able to share this amazing Instagram trend with you. Remember, you're beautiful and special. See you next week.